Well, hello and welcome to our continuing series on TrueSight Operations Management. I'm Scott Penn, Principal Solutions Engineer at BMC. Today is our continuing video series on application visibility management and loading it for a test server in a lab. This five-part series is getting the right version of Java, downloading the application visibility agent, installing WebLogic onto a lab server, then installing the Java agent onto that lab server, and then tuning that server so they can collect data. In this portion of the video series, we'll be talking about installation of application visibility Java agent on our MedRec server that we produced previously. First of all, you want to go down and download the application visibility agent off of the website from a previous video. Once you've got that in there, if you recall that there was a portion at the bottom of the installation that talked about how to go forward with the install. It gives you a dash Java agent option that you need to add to the Java uh, initialization. So for our MedRec server, there's a couple of ways we can do that, and I'm going to demonstrate both of those ways. First, you can go down to the actual startup file that's used under our Oracle middleware, Oracle home, user project domains, MedRec. You'll find under the, the bin directory is the actual startup file. So in this case, it's called startweblogic.cmd. If we edit that file, we can then insert that dash Java agent line into that file. There's several places you could put it, but I have a recommendation that I'm going to offer that we can put it in. And if you read through the file, it does talk about Java options or how to insert them. What I'd like to do then is to go down to this location called the Derby start and we're going to insert it right here. This is actually the Derby is the database that uh, is a startup. So we're going to load this right here after that call. So what we're going to do is copy that line that says the Java options equals and uh, make a note of where we're putting it because you're always going to have to go back and find it again someplace. Use that same set Java options equals that you see above, but in this case, we're going to actually insert now our Java agent location. So that's why it was important to remember the previous installation file and where that file is located. So we take that line and we insert it into the startup command file. And then we also add another uh, bit at the end to uh, preserve the Java options. Note, I'm using Notepad++, which is a really nice editor that helps with uh, XML files and config files and things like that. But you can use any editor to edit this file. Now, once you've inserted this line, then go ahead and save that configuration. And this is generally true of any Java startup configuration file. Find where Java gets started up, find the Java options installation, and put it there. Now, when you fire up the startup command, you'll see that there's a line now that's called Java agent for our application visibility agent. So that confirms that it's in there and it's running. Now, after the server is running and started up, you'll want to be able to hit it a couple times. And there's the URL for it to transact. And when it pops up, then go ahead and do a couple transactions. It does take about five minutes, two to five minutes, to actually transact a piece of uh, information across to the Application Visibility Manager server. So you have to exercise that server a bit. And once it's exercised, you'll see the application is recognized. And then it'll start to fill in then the various tiers that are hit by whatever transactions that you did. And there you have it. Now you have your transactions that are trapped and captured by Application Visibility Management Agent. Our next mechanism to install is also another common way, and it's through a console. So the reason that we chose MedRec or WebLogic as our example server is because it has both methods that I could use to install the Java agent. So what we do is log on to the console from the main GUI. And again, it was if you remember when you did the installation, it asked for a password for WebLogic. So log on as WebLogic, give the password, and it brings up the console. Now in the console, you're going to drill down into the environment for the server. And this is the actual console server itself. So WebLogic out of the box gives you a demonstration for the console server. So we're going to go into this and then we're going to go to the server startup area. 
and under here you're going to find and this is all actually in the web logic instructions but i'm giving you the quick demonstration but under arguments we're going to insert our java option line now this is by the way a, one of the more common ways that actual web logic servers are managed so copy our java agent startup into the arguments paste it and save it and then again when you start up the web logic server you'll find that it's now running and collecting application visibility management data from the WebLogic server. Well, that confirms our visibility agent installation. Next, we're going to go do some tuning, and thank you very much.